everybody, it's me, BrokenCuber17, and today we're going to be doing another math league contest paper. We're going to be doing year 2012 to 2013, questions 16 to 25, and these are all going to be 6th grade questions. Now let's go to the first question. In my garden, I have 6 roses for every 5 daisies, and those are the only flowers I have. If I have 66 flowers, then how many of them are roses? So. If we add up the six roses and five daisy, we'll get 11. And she said she has a total of 66, and 66 divided by 11 is 6. So we multiply the six roses by 6, which is which would get you 36. So our answer is would be D, 36. The next question is, the sum of two different odd numbers and an even number could be. So this is... There is kind of like a trick question, and so what we can do is let's just use two random odd num different odd numbers and an even number. So let's use three and five as odd numbers and two as an even number. Three plus five plus two is ten. Ten is an even number. And let's try five, seven, and four. Five plus seven is twelve. Plus four is sixteen. We can use any two different odd numbers and an even number. We can always get an even number as the answer. So the even number in this case of the four options is 52. So our answer would be A, 52. Our next question is, on Sunday I put two rabbits in a cage. If the number of rabbits in the cage doubled every day, on what day did the cage Cage first have more than a hundred rabbits in. So we can this is pretty simple. We can just do two because it start off with two and double two is four. Double four is eight. Double eight is sixteen. Double sixteen is thirty-two. Double thirty-two is sixty-four. And we if we add those all up, we get a hundred and twenty-six. And if we just started at if we just stopped at thirty-two and we didn't add sixty-four in the end, we would have got only 62, that's less than 100. So, and 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 6 plus 32 plus 64, that's six numbers getting added up. So it'll be six days after Sunday, which is C, Saturday. Our next question is, a pomegranate costs four times as much as a papa. If one pomegranate costs 50 cents more than two papas, then the pomegranate, pomegranate costs so, 50 cents more than two papas means it would be one dollar for four papas. So, because it's say because the first sentence says a pomegranate costs four times as many as a papa, 50 cents, and we can get four papas if we multiply the two papas, which equals 50 cents, we would get one dollar equals four papas. So, our answer would be C. Our next question is, if I triple blank and divide divide the result by 6, the quotient is 18. So we just have to work this question backwards. So it's quotient 18 because I divided it. So we just multiply 18 and 6. We get 108. And it says triple, which is times 3. So we divide that 108 by 3. And we get 36. So our answer would be D, 36. Our next question is 11 plus 12 plus 13 plus 14 plus 15 plus 16 equals 11 plus 22 plus 33 plus 44 plus 55 plus 66 minus. So in a calculator, we can put all these numbers in. And what we would get for the first part is 81. And if we noticed, 11 plus 22 plus 33 plus 44 plus 55 plus 66 is 231. So we just have to do 231 minus 81, and we would get our answer for that one's blank spot. So 231 minus 81 is 150. So our answer is C, 150. Okay, so the next question. 
If Bob jumps 15 additional times, the total number of his jumps will be three times what is his jumps three jumps ago. Bob has jumped blank times altogether. So, what we have to do for these, we have to get an answer, and we have to add 15 to that answer and divide it by 3, and we have to get that answer minus it by 3, and we should get the same exact number. So, let's try with 12. So, 12 plus 15 is 27, and 27 divided by 3 is 9, and 12 minus 3 is 9. And because they're both the same number, our answer would be A. The next question, the total value of 10 nickels and 9 dimes equals the total value of 5 quarters and blank pennies. So 9 dimes is 90 cents because a dime is 10 cents and 9 times 10 is 90. And 10 nickels is 50 cents because a nickel is 5 cents and 10 times 5 is 50. So you would get a dollar and 40 cents with that. And and because a quarter is 25 cents, and times 5, which is all the quarters the person has, is $1.25, we would do $1.40 minus $1.45, which is 15. And because pen a penny is 1 cent, it would be D, 15 pennies. Next question. How many numbers between 1 and 100 are equal? to five times an odd number. So let's just look at the multiples of five. Most of the multiples of five in between one and a hundred end with five or zero. And because they're asking about five times and an odd number, every single number one through hundred, which works in this case, ends with a five. So all of our things would be five, 15, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 75, 85, and 95. And there are 10 of those. So our answer would be B, 10. The next question is, the sum of the remainders of 123 divided by 4 and 234 divided by 5 and 345 divided by 2 is? So for this question, we can just do the division and we can add them all up. So 123 divided by 4 gets a remainder of 3 and then 234 divided by 5 gets your remainder of 4 and 345 divided by 2 gets your remainder of 1 and 3 plus 4 plus 1 gets you 8 so your answer would be C 